everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is kind of a before and after style video showing you how I do a touchless wash on my trailer, a full wash on the truck, and I'm also gonna be doing some polishing on my stainless steel, getting ready for a big truck show coming up. A couple of days of driving in the rain has us looking pretty gross and roached out. So I'm gonna give this thing a quick bath and maybe get the polisher out, and try and keep up with it. So yeah, step treads, those need it real bad. Probably my air cleaners too. I noticed they're getting rashed up. So get the bugs off and yeah, it's gonna gonna be a lot better here we go uh, today I'm gonna be using some stars and stripes made by Chemex it's a touchless wash on my trailer so got it all loaded up all right the blue stuff goes on first here we go all right so now that that's had a chance to be on the trailer and soak in and kind of do its work if I understand this correctly, and I might not because I'm an idiot, it's a two parts kind of system where you put the pre-soak on first, let it do its thing, and then you're gonna go directly to the red, and that is the neutralizer, and that shocks the dirt and all the grime off, and then you hit it with the pressure washer real good. So I got my red bottle, gonna switch over to that right now. Here we go. All right, here's part two with the red bottle to neutralize it. Here we go. So there we go. I'm not paid by Chemex. To, uh, to do any of this or demonstrate it. Uh, it's just something that we use in the shop sometimes when, uh, say after a rain, we just want a quick blast it and walk away kind of wash, not actually give any, any scrubbing. And uh, yeah, sometimes there's a place for acid, sometimes there's a place for scrubbing, and sometimes you want to just hit it and walk away. So I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. For what it is, it is a huge time saver. And uh, we do still use our buckets of suds and brushes and wash mitts and things like that, but sometimes you want to just get the bugs off and uh, get it, get the rain cleaned off. So Chemex, you guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys, stars and stripes, look them up. It's good stuff. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of polishing. So I got the truck washed up, got it backed out in the sunshine, and I wanted to show you exactly what I'm going to be trying to accomplish. The fronts of my air cleaners uh, are getting kind of cloudy and definitely rashed up. Um, I haven't touched those things in probably 10 months. I'll be doing the uh, aluminum and things like that on a different day, but today I'm going to focus on my stainless. Uh, also the grill surround on Kenworth. It's just getting pitted and beat up, and I know it can be better. Uh, this thing is not perfect. There's some dings and some cracks, stress cracks, things like that on it, but that's okay. That's what I'm gonna try and accomplish today. And uh, the reason for bringing it outside, like I said, was to try and show you, I know I can get better clarity than is already on here. So that's my goal. Wanted to give you a little bit of a before. And uh, so I'm gonna get suited up, pull it back inside the shop, and we'll get going on some stainless. There we 
go. I wanted you to be able to see it in the same light. Hopefully that shows up. But I was able to get more of the pitting out and a lot of the hazy cross hatching on that stainless. So I'm happy with that. Hey, I even got my step treads done. Uh, so I did do some aluminum today, and yeah, they're really beat up, but now they're beat up and shiny. Uh, let's see, I got the grill done too. Again, it's beat up, but it's gonna hold a shine a lot longer and still look pretty good. So, I'm pleased. I owe a huge thank you to Evan Steger of Evan's detailing and polishing. He's the one that uh, made those YouTube videos to show you how to polish your air cleaners, what kind of products to use. I do need to do a final wipe down, so if you're seeing some fingerprints and stuff like that, that's that's all that is. I literally just got done setting the grinder down and came pulled it outside. So, uh, Evan, thank you. I'm super pleased with how that turned out, and. Uh, for me, polishing is just a never-ending process. It just keeps going and going. I'll get after my wheels and my tanks, and then I turn it on and do some on the sleeper, and then I'll do the steps, things like that. So that's the process that works for me. I use Time to Shine products. Uh, it's a local small business in Wisconsin. And uh, like I was telling you, Evan Steger makes the YouTube videos to instruct you on how to do this and get results that you can be pleased with too on your truck. So. I'm just a trucker, I'm certainly not a professional polisher. You can tell there's all kinds of mistakes and things that I'm missing and doing wrong, but I'm learning as I go and you guys are coming along for the, uh, for the ride. So anyway, thank you again so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for coming along. 